you. It's now 21 years since the James Bond International Fan Club began life on the floor of a bedroom in Surrey. The club now boasts 4,000 members from across the globe and has just moved into new headquarters as well. We sent Julie Parton to investigate. Well, true to the spirit of the Secret Service, the headquarters of the James Bond International Fan Club are at the end of this anonymous corridor in a building in the heart of the Surrey countryside. <laughs> Inside, it's a Bond fan's paradise. You can't move for memorabilia, all collected by the club over the last 21 years. Our lighting piece here is in fact one of the nose cones from one of the Parahawks that was used in The, the World Is Not Enough, which uh, obviously starred Pierce Brosnan and made pots of money. Gray and Rye gave up his day job in the 80s to run the fan club full time. It's a successful commercial enterprise, but at its heart is a die-hard Bond fan. Graham has met all five actors who've played Ian Fleming's Gentleman Spy 007. I would say that I've got a pretty good job. You know, I enjoy it. It's great fun. Uh, surrounded by everything to do with James Bond. Morning, noon and night. You know, still gives me a, a buzz. Yeah. Bond fever was at its peak in the 60s, the films bristling with gadgets and girls. Today, props from those originals are like gold dust. Club member Matthew Field, who owns a copy of all the movies on DVD, still gets a thrill from those the fan club has got its hands on. This is amazing. This is the uh, croupier palette, um, the very film prop from the movie Dr. No, which you can see behind me, which is the first time we're introduced to James Bond on screen. I think uh, James Bond is so different to the other action movies you get today. Um, they're intelligent films, um, and they've got a formula, I think, that works. It's a formula that's worked for the club too. This is a party year for Bond fans, culminating in a lavish dinner for members at Pinewood in November. The club has come of age. And I think we'll still be here 21 years further down the line if I don't pop my clothes, um, because the interest is never ending. I love it all. <laughs>